Okay, good morning. It is quarter to seven in the morning. Ready for day three. But I'm gonna show you this. If you haven't been to Europe, this is kind of interesting. Yes, always dark. All the lights came on. Normally that doesn't happen. <laughs> Normally I'm going towards a dark tunnel, which is really wild. Okay, so we're out of the hotel, all checked out. That was a, um, uh, a Moxie by Marriott, so two nights with, uh, uh, with parking, uh, and that's it. Uh, was 220 euros. Uh, taxes everything in uh, so now we're headed to um, towards Munich we should be there just before uh, 10 o'clock my uh, my meeting started at 12 so that's great gives me a couple of hours maybe uh, find like a little cafe somewhere to grab a coffee and, uh, and maybe bite eat before my marathon four or five hour of meetings start of course my Hotel card doesn't work. Hello, can you? Uh, oh, yeah, junction. <laughs> guess the uh, guess the Inuit doesn't work. Okay, which way? So looks like people are really into work and uh, you'll see a little bit of the city as we drive out um, one thing to note you know yesterday I uh, walked around the town and uh, you know we got to look at a lot of nice uh, historical sites a lot of which you know has been restored obviously after the war um, but uh, yeah, I'm just thinking here um, when you when you look at like the normal streets, it's not you know everyone doesn't live in a in a nice historical building. Uh, you know, and as as we exit here, you'll kind of see you'll kind of see regular life in the city. So the hotel I stayed in is actually to the right, and to get to um, to get to the city, the the old city, it's about a it's about a eh, twenty minute walk or so, um, and uh, at night after dinner I, I made it a quick walk because I just didn't feel I mean you know you, the street lights aren't like there in North America it's not necessarily well lit up um, but yeah so, <laughs> just made a little bit of a beeline just to keep just to say stay not that I, I think there are any issues here I think I think at worst you know maybe it's some minor pickpocketing type uh, type crimes I think it's all petty theft but there you get a kind of a view probably of some of the the apartments that you know most people tend to live in, uh, and even that I think is nicer than what you get off the main road. Yeah, you know, traffic, it's uh, a little bit of traffic, but nothing like uh, what I experience at home, so. <laughs> Follow the signs for Nuremberg, as uh, Google Maps is telling me to do. And we'll drive south. Uh oh. Guess I missed my uh, turn there. Huh? But it doesn't seem to really affect my time. It just looks like I'm just kind of going around a different, uh, a different way. Instead of taking uh, uh, Audubon 8, uh, I'm going to be taking 19. 
I'll connect to something on the right and uh, about five kilometers. And once again, clipping along at uh, about 140, I'm in this oval, um, which in for North America would be equivalent to probably an Oldsmobile, I think. Okay, back to the map. So for context, here's uh, here's Frankfurt, and then Würzburg, where where, uh, where we spent the night, uh, and then I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I think I ended up doing. Actually, I came. Yeah, I think I came across eight instead of uh, coming down like this to Munich. I'm now coming down this way to Munich. Which actually works out because I'm actually stopping off um, just south of the airport in Munich in an area called, uh, boy, hard to pronounce, uh, Garching, I think. I'm sure I'm butchering that. Uh, but yeah, so halfway there, moving quickly. We'll be there um, before 10 o'clock. So I'm probably going to uh, change the route a little bit. And I know Dachau is here. Uh, I, don't, I won't be going, I'll drive by the concentration camp, uh, which is now a museum, but I won't uh, stop there. I think there's another museum there that might be interesting to look at. We'll see how much time, uh, time I have when I actually make it there. Okay, so we're going to make a right turn here, and then on our left is... Take the the next concentration step. camp, the cow. <laughs> Which is, uh, wow, pretty insane to see. It's huge. It just keeps going. Wow. Okay, so checking into hotel number two. Thirty six, thirty six. Oh, it's open. Oh. Looks a little nicer. Huh. Interesting lights. That's actually a good sized bathroom. Decent sized room. Okay, checked into the hotel. I'm going to uh, try and get to the, the Marienplatz by walking uh, to the tram and then taking the tram into the city. So we'll see what that's like. So this is the uh, Marienplatz in Munich. Okay, so as you <laughs> saw in the last clip, I didn't take the tram. Uh, it ended up being kind of painful, like trying to get a ticket. I didn't check the machine. And I went to where the trams leave. There wasn't anything there. So I just uh, jumped in a taxi. Much easier. Well, I'm uh, looking for a place for dinner, 
We need to get out of this tourist area because I'm sure food will be overpriced and not nearly as good as it should be. But nice to look at though. I think this is the Parthenon or Pantheon. I'll have to look it up. Correct myself. <clears throat> this area is uh, just uh, beside the Marian Platz. And in the distance, I don't think you could see it in this video, but there's uh, something that's a cross between the Brandenburg Gate and uh, why is my mind drawing a blank? The Arch de Triomphe. <laughs> yeah, it looks, I don't know if you could see it in the distance. It's way, way out there. The video makes it, it's closer looking in real life, but I think the video makes it look rather small. Okay, so the quest for a decent restaurant continues. That looks pretty lively. <clears throat> I had, uh, ended up at a little Vietnamese place and, uh, Definitely off the beaten track. Probably more of a student's hangout than anything else. But it was good and cheap. And now I'm going to head home. Take the, a little meeting. And then uh, another day of travel tomorrow.